5,000-year-old mass grave of fallen warriors in Spain shows evidence of sophisticated warfare. We're talking about 3000 BC here. A new analysis of a mass grave from Neolithic Spain reveals that the site was not a burial ground from a massacre, but of fallen warriors. Over 5,000 years ago, men, women, and children with head trauma and arrow wounds were buried in a mass grave in Spain. Now archaeologists have tested uh, teased apart this tangled web of skeletons, revealing new evidence of ancient warfare. A new study finds the San Juan Ante Part Patro Portam Latina SJAPL rock shelter located in the town of La Guardia, northern Spain, was first excavated in 1991. More than 300 skeletons, radiocarbon dated 3380 to 3000 BC, were found in one mass burial, many of them interwoven in odd positions. Excavators also discovered dozens of flint arrowheads and blades, along with stone axes and personal ornaments. Researchers initially concluded that they had found evidence of Neolithic massacre, but a new analysis of the SJAPL skeletons has revealed that these people were most likely killed in separate raids or battles over a period of several months or years. In a study published Thursday, November 2nd, in the journal Scientific Reports, first author Teresa Fernandez Crespo, an archaeologist at the University of Valladolid in Spain, and her team described the healed and the unhealed injuries on the SJAPL skeletons. They found a total of 107 cranial injuries, most of which were located on the top of the skull and likely corresponded to blunt force trauma, such as blows from stone maces or wooden clubs. Nearly five times as many males as females suffered cranial trauma, the researchers found. Injuries on the rest of the skeletons were also examined the team discovered 22 instances of trauma, mostly spiral or V-shaped fractures affecting the limbs as well as 25 injuries on other parts of the body. Like the skull injuries, they seem to have disproportionately affected men who were nearly four times as likely as women to have evidence of bodily trauma. Arrowhead injuries were also strongly linked to male skeletons, suggesting men were more often exposed to long-range violence than more women were. All told, adolescent and adult males buried at SJAPL accounted for 97.6% of unhealed trauma and 81.7% of healed trauma recorded in skeletons whose biological sex could be estimated. This suggests, according to the study authors, that the mass grave represents one or more war layers resulting from battles and or raids where the involvement of the males was dominant. And she said, we think that we're seeing the result of a regional intergroup conflict at SJAPL, Fernando Crispo uh, told Life Science. She said a resource competition and social complexity could have been a source of tension, potentially escalated into lethal violence between communities. These late Neolithic communities, each of which consisted of a few hundred people, comprised mostly farmers, who cultivated wheat and barley and tended to domesticated herds of sheep, cattle, and pigs. But additional evidence of illness and stress that the team found on the Neolithic skeleton suggests that food scarcity may have affected the people and potentially been a trigger for the violence. This research presents a convincing case for interregional conflict where male combatants died in battle. Ryan Harrod, bioarchaeologist, University of Alaska, Anchorage, who was not involved in the study, said, he said the fact that there were more non-lethal compared to lethal injuries in the 338 individuals, Harrod said, show that many people healed from their injuries, which might indicate that the regional clashes were not epic battles or warfare. The combination of injuries of evidence from SJAPL including traumatic injuries from arrows and skeletal indicators of poor health, coupled with high population pressure and the presence of different cultural groups, may have created a metaphorical powder keg that erupted 5,000 years ago, resulting in what the researchers have characterized as a more sophisticated and formalized way of warfare 
than previously appreciated in the European Neolithic record. And this is by Christina Kilgrova, Live Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.